Hi, hello, I'm Virginie and I'm from Brussels in Belgium. I wanted to introduce um, some work that have really interested me into storytelling um, up to now. So I want to start with um, the well-known Stephen King. Here you have, um, it's in French, sorry, um, but in English you can find it under Danse Macabre. So it's an essay um, from himself reflecting on how we can construct horror stories and how horror stories have influenced uh, film, cinema, music, everything, basically TV series and so on and so on. Um, and it's really, really interesting because Stephen King is Stephen King, so he's really reflecting on how we create and how we like horror stories and what makes a good horror story. So it's really, really, really interesting, a really good read. Um, I have also here um, Terry Pratchett, some of you may know him as well. So here is The Science of This World 2, The Globe, and he's really reflecting in this book about how we perceive um, magic in, um, on the disc world, and he makes really um, interesting points um, discussing about the fact that I'm quoting. Um, this world runs on magic, and magic in, in, is indisputably linked to nar narrative causality, the power of story. A spell is a story about what a person wants to happen, and magic is what turns stories into reality. So he's really putting into words what you can have enjoyed in the rest of his books, and it's really, really interesting read. I'm, I'm still in the middle of it. Um, <laughs> I'm still reading it and it's really 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 fantastic uh, really inspiring about why we like stories because he's really reviewing um, humankind's history from, from when we were apes to, to now basically and, and why we like stories and why we tell stories and, and how it helped uh, shape the world as we know it and shape ourselves um, I'm also a um, pen and paper role play player, so I have here a French role play uh, book. It's a really short book, as you may see, and everything is contained in it. Why am I mentioning role play books? Is because in wh when you play pen and paper role play, the, the main role of, of the master of the game is really to introduce you to a world, to introduce you to a story. So basically, those books are full of tips and hints and advices and background, history, characters, so everything you need to, to really know how to tell a good story and it's, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that it's really different telling a story to people, uh, explaining a story, putting them in a story while playing compared to telling a story where the receiver is passive, where the receiver won't have any chance to influence the action. Here it's really uh, I've picked this one because they have um, a whole section, sorry, <laughs> a whole section, so conseil is tips in French, um, where they really give you advices on how to plan, for example, uh, for atmosphere, um, how to play um, on references to our reality. Um, it's really, really, really interesting, and, and role play books, even if you don't role play are really really interesting because they give you advice on how people receive stories and how you can bring them into stories and being interested and wanting to take part and the last one is not a book is uh, a series I've been watching uh, for quite a while now is actually the, um, the spin-off of Doctor Who So <laughs> it's the spin-off of Doctor Who, and the first seasons are not that interesting if, if you're not into uh, into that kind of series. But um, the third and fourth season are really focused on um, a big movie. So it's really one long story spanning through I don't remember six or seven episodes, and it's really one of the most creeping story I, I've ever heard lately, and it was really well delivered. It was really what, what grasped me into storytelling by saying how can a theory have such an impact on myself? Um, it was really a, um, a science fiction background, everything you want, it's not realistic, but the story it tells 
it's really well delivered. It's really asking you questions about who you are and and what society is about and and how governments are and how politics are. And it's really, I I I won't spoil it because it's really amazing, and I really recommend you to to have a look at it. Even if you're not interested in Doctor Who, even if you're not interested at all in in the way those stories. Uh, in the events, the story tells, but just to have a look at how they did it because it's really gripping. I was really watching, binging, binge watching this because I, I wanted to know the hand, uh, even if I guess it was gonna end happily, but I wanted to know how, how it will evolve basically. So that's my take on storytelling and I, I could talk for hours about books who inspired me. You could also have a look, and I really recommend to you to have a look at um, theorist uh, Vladimir Pop, um, a Russian guy who analyzed um, Russian folk tales, and it's really, really, really interesting. Even if it's not at all related to European culture or even American culture, but it's really interesting in seeing how stories are told, um, tales are told. Um, really have a look at it if you have time or even just this Wikipedia page because you'll see that it's really interesting. See you!